Hello everyone and welcome to Dino Outdoors. In today's video, we're going to test out this lawnmower blade sharpener from Volvigo. We'll get it set up, get some lawnmower blades off of our lawnmower and give it a test. So stick around. This lawnmower blade sharpener from Volvigo it's very similar to the All-American Sharpener, but it's over less than half of the price. And I wanted to give it a test to see if it'd work just as well. It has the pivoting arm, has the adjustable lawnmower blade angle to it, and it mounts with this bracket down here. It comes with your Allen wrench for tightening everything up and adjusting the angle. Comes with the tool for installing your lawnmower blades. Comes with a set of gloves, a little storage bag for your tools, and the instructions on how to use and how to install it. Let's get this set up, get a lawnmower blade on, and start sharpening. Once you have your angle grinder attached, with this bolt that goes through here. You wanna make sure that you snug up this bolt here to the arm and have all these bolts tight and including these here. Open up your gap here, take your lawnmower blade, set it in there towards the top half here. These need to be opened up slightly and then tighten up your handle. until your lawnmower blade is secured. Now to get the correct angle on here, there's an adjustment bolt right here that you can tighten and loosen. And what that'll do is it'll allow this head to pivot on here so you can get the correct angle of your blades. So once you got your blade secured, take your grinder and just set it up there and make sure you have the correct angle and if not, you can loosen up that bolt and turn your blade whichever way you need it. You want a nice, flat, smooth angle on there. And make sure your reach goes all the way to the top. If you can't reach all the way to the top, you want to slide your blade down inside of your adjustment here. All right, so once you have your blade secured, the best way to use this is just real quick back and forth motions I found. So what we'll do is we'll start it up and we'll go back and forth a few times real quick. And that's it. Your blade is finished. It's sharpened. And by going back and forth real quick like that, the blade does not get quite as hot. We'll loosen it up and we'll do the other side. So get your blade in there, the proper way, the side that you need to sharpen, set it up tight against these two and lock it into place. And this blade is sharpened. Super quick, super efficient. Just a few minor adjustments to this, like the handle and this bolt down here. And I think it's gonna be just as good as the All-American. Now just loosen up your handle here. Take your blade out and it's nice and sharp. That's all there is to it. Your blades are sharp. Now before you go and reinstall your sh freshly sharpened blades, be sure to clean off any grass debris that's left on it. Clean this all up. And then it's important to balance it before reinstalling. Otherwise, your lawnmower deck's gonna wear out prematurely. So the question is, does this work as good as the All-American? 
it probably works just as good. It's the quality is not quite as good, but for under half the price, I think it's worth it. One thing worth noting while I was using it are some of these uh, attachment bolts here loosened up a little bit. So I went and I retightened them down. That's the only thing I really seen that was causing any issues. I like the fact that you're able to angle this uh, so you can get the right degree for your blades. And the handle is pretty similar as the All-American. Just turn it and you can adjust the tightness of and lock in your blades on this part here as well. I just have mine temporarily mounted to my table saw until my workbench gets finished. So I'm using a C-clamp here. Overall, I'm pretty satisfied with the way it works and for the price, you can't beat it. Well, thanks for watching. I hope this video was helpful and can help you decide on which lawnmower blade sharpener you choose. If you guys are interested in this product, I'll have a link down in the description below. As always, thanks for watching and remember to get outdoors with Dino.